Hi guys, welcome to this first craft and chat video, Bridge Bonanza slash Art School Edition. In this video, I will explain to you my general process to create bridges and answer the few questions you had about art school. My first step is obviously to trace the pattern that I've previously created on the felt with an erasable pen. I then fold the felt two to four times, secure it with a pin and then I cut. Here I lay all the different pieces in front of me and I start sewing on or embroidering the details such as the eyes, mouths, noses, etc. Here I don't follow a specific pattern. I like each brooch to have different eyes, a different expression to be a little bit unique. As some of you may know, I've got an illustration degree, I graduated from art school without honours or anything in 2021. It took me four years instead of three because in second year I had massive health issues that really impacted my work. I had tried studies in assistant managing uh, before deciding it was not for me and moving on to art school. Now, I'm not sure it was the best for me, but more on that in my answers to your questions. First very general question, what was it like? Uh, it was an experience, for sure. I met amazing, talented people, but I believe that our school can break you as much, if not more, as it can make you. Art is a tough field. Teachers are brutal, comparison kills your confidence and creativity. A lot of my classmates went on to get a non-artistic job or another degree. Some of them don't even draw anymore because they were disgusted by art school. It was fun. It was stressful. It was hard. It was a lot. Also, Covid hit towards the end of my repeated second year and it seriously disrupted my graduating year. It was a bumpy ride. Second question is a tough one. Would you recommend it? Is it really worth it? I recommend taking art classes in your free time if it's a possibility for you and learning as much as you can by yourself, with videos, with artsy friends. I've learned more after class working on my assignments without the cryptic, contradictory, demeaning critics from my teachers. I've learned more partaking in Instagram challenges and experimenting. I've learned more since I graduated almost two years ago than in the four years spent there. Third question, should I quit? That's a highly personal decision. As I said, I dropped out of college before going into art and even after because I went for another degree afterwards. Passed my first year and then went, nope, not for me. So I'd never judge anybody for quitting. It takes courage to recognize when the place you're in is not right for you and to start over, especially when it comes to education. Give it a hard thing. Talk about it with people you trust to be objective. Don't rush it too much. Do what feels best for you. You got this. Okay, so question number four is quite a hot topic if you allow me because 
it's teacher's tea. So I remember some teachers not really liking each other. I remember some petty things being said, but I don't remember exactly what. So I can't really talk about that because I don't have any examples to give you. Um, but <laughs> I'm not going to name any names if some of my classmates watch these videos they will know which teachers I'm talking about but so at some point two teachers of my art school were dating they eventually broke up and one day I was in class with a third teacher like not a teacher of the broken up couple I was in class with that teacher so I was near the teacher's desk but from his desk like he was facing us and he had his back to the door I was facing him and therefore facing the door so he was at his desk talking with one of the one of the two members of the couple like with, with one with one of the teachers uh, of that teacher couple I don't really know how to phrase it and so again they couldn't see the door so they were talking and then I see the other half of the broken up couple come up to the door and he sees his ex at the desk and he makes a face but like the most annoyed face I'd ever seen like really a <sighs> and then it he saw that I had seen him <laughs> but he didn't mind like like he made his face like then he saw that I had seen him and then he left like he walked away without making any noise like his presence was never known by my teacher and the ex <laughs> so that's it might not be extremely exciting for you since you don't know these people but to me it was hilarious and to my classmates when I told them about it it was smoking hot tea so there you go and now back to the brooch making Here I sew the safety pin to the back of the brooch, then I sew the back and the front together and then it's time for the stuffing. When I'm done with the stuffing, I just finish the stitch, close the brooch and it's done. The pins used on the back of the cats were not safety pins but actual brooch pins so I sew them in and then I put a bit of felt to cover the pin. Now comes the bit where I'm an idiot and just blow all of my bridges away. The point of this step is to make the traces of pen completely disappear. The final extra step is to put all my bridges on their little backing card. And now they're all done and ready to go. Look at them, they're so cute. I'm so happy with them, so proud with the result. So, 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 so cute. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and would like more of this format, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell, maybe, I don't know, and see you next time. Bye!